Pennsylvania Congressman Scott Perry. Sir, um, this is something, obviously, Speaker Johnson spoke yesterday at Columbia, which I thought was a great move. This is something that has infected academia. It has infected academia. It's great to be with you, Carl. And since you mentioned it, today is the anniversary of the first KKK rally. I believe it was in Tennessee. This wow. is the anniversary of that. And of course, as you know, that was the military wing of the Democrat Party. That having been said, uh, you're absolutely right. The, these folks, um, I wonder how many of the, the folks that are actually protesting have any clue about what they're talking about, have any clue about the history and, and whether they even know that there's no such place as Palestine. It was made up. I wonder if they know anything about history at all. And I wonder if they realize yeah. and if they've heard the news that Israel is responding to a massacre brought to them by the people that these pro people are protesting on behalf of. These people are protesting on the behalf of terrorists. Right. Well, and, and ironically enough, those Hamas people who they're protesting on behalf of would do the same thing to Americans if they were not 5,000 miles away. But the problem is, sir, these kids are getting, they're, they're the product of this new generation of media, places like NPR, the New York Times. You, sir, are on the right side of this trying to defund NPR. Well, since you mentioned it, the Corpor Corporation for Public Broadcasting will likely report yep. on this issue, and, uh, and, and you're only going to hear one side, the poor... Palestinians, of course, it'll be the oppressive uh, Israeli government with America in tow, and you're paying for that. That's why I introduced the bill, as you said, to defund the Corporation for Public Broadcasting. They're not even, at this point, they're not even saying they're, that they're, they, they don't even refute the fact that they're a completely left-wing organization paid for your, by your tax dollars, all to propagandize America with left-wing viewpoints. It's not even close. They don't even have a Republican or conservative on staff that you Zero. know of, right? <laughs> exactly. So, so look, this is America. If you want to hate somebody, if you want to hate something, that's your business, free speech. All I'm saying is, is that the American taxpayer should not be forced to pay for it. I think we're 13 to $15 billion in on the Corporation for Public Broadcasting. We, we don't have to people pay these people to hate us. They will hate us for free. Yeah, exactly. And you know what? They can do it without our tax dollars. I want to right. talk about the GDP, though, okay? So Biden has been just ripping up and down, saying that, oh, you know, like, it's great. Like, every, the economy's doing well. Well, yeah, it, in Q1, it was only up 1.6%. They were predicting, like, 2.2, 2, 2 and a half. And this far fell flat from what they thought. I mean, how can he go into an election year saying economy's great, but 1.6 GDP? We haven't seen this in a while. Well, of course we haven't. And look, he's going to say that the economy is great. And Carl, you should disregard the fact that you can't afford your credit card bills, that you're paying for your groceries oh, yeah. on your credit card and you can't afford the groceries or the credit card bill. You can't afford gasoline approaching four dollars a gallon where I live. You can't afford daycare. You can't afford anything. You should disregard that. Of course, the price, the numbers of GDP are up because the cost of everything is up 20 percent. Right. But it, the only thing that's not up, Carl, is people's wages commensurate with the cost. They can't afford these things. But they're going to disregard that and tell you not to disbelieve your lying eyes and, and believe them instead, as they always do. And there's a certain amount of Americans that will believe them just because they're leftists. Right. Well, I saw a, a tweet or something from the Biden administration, one of their left wing hack accounts that was basically like consumer spending is up. Well, of course it is. I spend more money at the grocery store. I just get less stuff. Right. Right. Yeah, of course, consumers, the price of everything is up. So to get the same things, Carl, that you got before, you got to spend more. And of course, they see that as something laudable worth reporting on and a sign of good things. But people out here in the real world that are yeah. you know, counting their paycheck and their dollars in and out, and they're saying, wait a minute, I have less now than I had three years ago. How is this working for me? It might work great for people in Washington, D.C., but it doesn't work for people out here in the real world that are struggling to pay their taxes and, uh, and pay their bills. I get it. Look, I'm basically a human garbage disposal. My wife wants to kill me every time she goes to the grocery <laughs> store. Congressman, we appreciate you joining us very much, sir. Thank you. God bless you, Carl. All right.